welcome back and on today's news it says Buhari is smart. Here is the reason why he may be rehabilitating Boko Haram fighters. Many people, especially Nigerians, have failed to see the probable reason why Buhari is rehabilitating and reintegrating ex-Boko Haram fighters into the Nigerian societies. Buhari is the Nigerian president and this means that he is getting all the best advice he could ever need to rule effectively and make decisions. Before we go further, just to say this statement is very, very ignorant and very, very naive. You can't say that the people around him, especially with their qualifications, I mean, these people around him are making decisions. They've been to the most universities in the, law, in the world. They've studied law. They're professors in this subject. And yet... There is no evidence to show that they're actually smart and they can actually apply what they've learned. So, yes, the people around him are not giving him the best advice. I mean, they are giving him the best advice that pertains to actually finding loopholes to spend um, public funds. Okay, fine. Maybe in that aspect, they're giving good advice. The decision to rehabilitate and reintegrate these men might look extreme to Nigerians, but I want us to look at this from another angle. What if Buhari is doing this for the following reasons? Well, the first reason said here is to obtain intelligence on Boko Haram, which I personally feel that if they had the right technology, and again, with the corruption and bribery, they can easily get information. If they had this technology that they could match up to Boko Haram, I think they could be able to get the information and their tactics as well. For many years now, Boko Haram has been playing hide and seek with the Nigerian military, especially in the Sambisa forest. The oppression of this jihadist group does not follow a pattern. Their forms of attacks are always different from one another. Boko Haram fighters have carried out series of attacks, killings and kidnappings across the northern state of Nigeria. Do you think they just carry out these attacks without planning? They have strategies, plans and their design of operation, which the military should also have and should be advanced enough to to outsmart them they also follow intelligence reports before the attack if they do not follow intelligence reports most of the attacks will have little casualties and damages and before they can get the before they can get the intelligence report they need they have to get someone inside the military to give them this report and that is why if they have the right technology they can monitor each person in the military and make sure that no information is going out this is why people believe that the Nigerian army has been compromised and no doubt there might be an atom of truth attached to this because you cannot just go about ambushing military men without having adequate intelligence reports on their movement. This is the same approach Buhari is likely taking but before he can accurately achieve this he has to build a strong bond of trust between the military and these men which I believe will never work. It is absolutely horrendous that they're doing this except they're going to control their minds. This is why he has chosen to take good care of them, provide them better accommodation and feed them more. This is basically an example of priorities. He's misprioritizing. The real problem at large is the poverty, the illiteracy, the lack of um lack of funds of or living amenities for people to have. If you're going to be spending and investing in their accommodation to feed them well, Whereas most of the Nigerians are not going to school, they don't have jobs, they are, they are malnourished, they can't afford good earnings to give them a place to stay. And you're doing this for ex, ex Boko Haram members who were trying to destroy the country. That really shows that there's most prioritizing going on there. These men would have worked with Shakal, leader of Boko Haram, for a long time, and they will know how he runs the group. If their trust with the military and worry is strong, they will provide the military with the needed intelligence to win the war against Boko Haram. First of all, they can actually do that with technology. And again, how can you trust that these men are not giving information back to, to Boko Haram? It really, really doesn't make sense. It really doesn't make sense. So the people that are around him who are actually giving him information, I don't think they're doing a good job in terms of giving him the best advice on how to rule effectively. That is, they are far from it. The second reason why Buari might do this is to spy on Shekau. Boko Haram is actually more than what Nigerians believe the group to be these days. Many Nigerians still believe that Boko Haram is a jihadist organization that some small, bo some small guns and boys are running around fighting the military for a yet to be identified goal. I don't think Ni I think Nigerians know the severity of their influence and the results that and the consequences that have come from 
the retaliation. Boko Haram is bigger than that now. In case we doubt this, let's not forget. Let us not forget that Boko Haram pledged allegiance to the Islamic State some years ago. This message was posted on Boko Haram Twitter account. We all know how big the Islamic State terrorist group is. The Islamic State terrorist group has taken control of large swaths of territory in eastern Syria, across and across the northern and western Iraq. Definitely, without a doubt. Boko Haram is getting support from this group. The military, the Nigerian military is no longer fighting a Nigeria or a Jihadi group. They are fighting the Islamic State. Buhari needs a distinguished tactical approach to successfully win his battle against the Boko Haram insurgents. These men would probably be doing something significant in the future battle against Boko Haram, such as such as being the Nigerian military spies on Shekau. Buhari is smart. Do you guys actually believe that? I mean, okay, I don't want to link smartness or intelligence to English, but if you're going to be smart, I believe that you'd have to articulate yourself well. I don't think Buari is evident. You can search it up online. I don't think he's a very articulate person who can effectively communicate properly. I mean, obviously, it's fine to have your accent, but in the way he in pronounces some words, to see how he's very um, robotic, he's very um, monotonous, he literally talks like a robot because he has a script. Well, the first, somebody says he's their patron. I mean, obviously, the 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 whole vibe, the whole, the overarching thing when this article is basically in support of Buhari and how he's doing good, apparently, and how his advisors are giving him the best advice on how to rule effectively. I mean, if effective rule is evident with um, a lot of poverty, a lot of deaths, a lot of no electricity, bad roads, bad economy, then they really got to question a lot of things in terms of their basic education because it is highly ironic because these leaders or these um surrounders and advisors around him go to the best of the best university you would be surprised with the kind of degrees they've had the books they've written especially about corruption how ironic and that person says this person must be senseless if bokaram had killed either, either your father your mother or any mem of your family members, you will not have the courage to write this rubbish. That is true. I mean, sometimes the thing is lack of experience doesn't guarantee that you can fully empathize or sympathize or actually put yourself in the shoes of those who are victims under Boko Haram. Another person says, Mr. Writer, you are, you are indeed a sick person suffering from piles and asthma. How can we rehabilitate terrorists and fail to defend Nigerians? Did you forget... Hey, blood. Okay, this person says, Did you forgotten he the incompetent leader promised to defeat Boko Haram in the in ninety days in office? Somebody says, Um, a pig will always go back to the mud not minding on not minding the white robe on it. Somebody says Buari is their boss, so he can't kill them. Wow. Um another person says, Rubbish, Buari cannot deny Boko because he is their patron and sponsor. Tell us another story. Is this what you believe? Do you believe that um, Bari is sponsoring them? Because to be honest, I think the amount of money he's spending on them, he hasn't really spent on public goods and amenities for the actual citizens of the country who actually need it. Um, somebody says, I thought Lai Mohammed said so loud that they had defeated Boko Haram. Why are they still a bone to contend? Lai Lai people. And that person says, no need to comment on this. Well, you just commented on that. Somebody says, um, for your mind, you post something rubbish. Someone says, all these are gimmicks. The North felt militants in the South were rehabilitated to be, so be it to their children. I don't think this person is making sense. Another person says, they should all be made presidential advisors. I mean, it is crazy. I mean, the first paragraph really, really struck a nerve because it's like how can you be in nigeria see the current state see the current um people in government and their track record and for the fact that they came back for a second term obviously sh sh it says a lot i mean the statement that says he's getting all the best advice he could ever need to rule effectively and make decisions mm, that is yeah, that is a really naive, ignorant, more so senseless, not making sense 
statement to say. Well, put what you think in the comment section below. Do you really feel like Biari is being strategic by rehabilitating Boko Haram fighters to fight them back? Or do you believe he's their sponsor? You ple- you, do you believe he's doing this for face? Do you believe he's doing this because he has another agenda just to disrespect Nigerian people and do what he wants? Put what you think in the comment section below. And do not forget to like and subscribe.